to create a circuit, you come into what you want to select. Remember, we have to have inputs first, and then our operators and our outputs. So we'll start with our inputs. So we'll take a contact input, select it, let go of the mouse button, move your cursor to the middle of the canvas, and click on the left mouse button, and it'll, it'll deposit it. If you want to go in and make some changes, you can come in here and go in and make uh, change the name of the contact input. The default factor default is contact input. This we can call it switch A. We can assign whichever input that we want to use. We can add a debounce time, modify it here, and we can also uh, make a note of it to be recorded in the event recorder. We select OK. This name will update. We choose another, select another one. We can. If we want to do some alignment, we can use some of the tools up here. This will allow us to do something like this, where we, if we select both. The other thing that we have here is we have our contact input. We can add this in as well. When we double click on the contact on this input, we have a choice of menus as to what we can select. You can see virtual outputs, protection, and control, monitoring, miscellaneous, counters, all of these different items are selectable. In this case, I'm going to pick something simple like the push button. And when I click on the input, it allows me to come in here and select which push button I want to use. If I click on View Associated Screen, it will actually take me over to that particular menu. If I close this down, it allows me to come back, and now I can complete my circuit. So I'm going to assign a, an AND gate between the two contact inputs. Simple as selecting it, clicking on it. I'm going to put an, an OR gate in here as well. When you're selecting these different gates, they also, when you double click on the gates, you have the ability to go from 2 to up to as high as 16. You can select the different types of gates that are available. So in this case, I'll stick with 2. I want the on portion of the switch, so when it's when the contacts close, the, the output will be active. And you can see how the color changes as I make the connections. So to make the connection is very simple. You move your cursor over to the, the connection point, click on it, it'll create a crosshair, and when you see the circle around the crosshair, then you click again and it'll make the connection. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. To complete the circuit, we need a virtual output, and the virtual output is located in your I.O. tokens. Once again, here we can come in and give this a name, assign it to be uh, to record it in the event recorder. Once we select OK. Name it'll update, complete our connection, and this is how we make a circuit.